we're going to take the derivative of y equals the sine of x times y. Now, because we have a y on both sides of the equation here, and we can't really combine them, because one's inside a trig function and one isn't, we're going to need implicit differentiation. Taking the derivative of y with respect to x is easy. It's dy by dx, or y prime in my world. Then I'm gonna have to take the derivative of this. Now the derivative of sine anything is cos of that same anything times the derivative of whatever's on the inside of the brackets here. That's chain rule. And taking the derivative of x times y is going to be product rule. Product rule is the derivative of the first thing, derivative of x is one, times the second thing as is, plus, then it's the first thing as is, times the derivative of the second thing, which for me is going to be y prime. So this is it, this is me taking the derivative, but ideally we'd be able to separate y prime out and get an expression for the derivative based only on x and y. Now I'm gonna clean this up a little. I got y prime equals cos of xy times, now one times y is y, and x times y prime, I'm just gonna write as xy prime. But to get at that y prime, I'm actually gonna multiply cos xy through both of those terms. y prime equals, now this cos xy times another y is y cos xy, and multiplying this by cos xy gives me, well, unsurprisingly, xy prime cos of xy. Now the reason I'm doing that is that this term has y prime in it. I'm gonna move it to the left where the other y prime is. Plus xy prime cos xy becomes minus xy prime cos xy on the other side of the equation. I still have y cos xy on this side of the equation, the right-hand side. Now to get y prime on its own, I can factor it out of both of these terms. That without that here is one, and that without y prime is minus x cos xy. Now you might see where I'm going with this already. The idea is that I now have y prime times a big chunk of stuff. And so to isolate y prime on its own, I can just divide both sides by that. My final answer here for y prime, or the derivative of y, is y times cos xy in the numerator of a fraction, and the denominator is one minus x cos xy here. That's it. That's my answer for the derivative of y equals sine xy. Thanks for sticking with me, and best of luck.